Hi, I'm Dr. Schwartz. This is Psych Talk, and this is a short one. Somebody asked me to record this, and so I'm doing it. I hope that it's helpful. This video will be titled something like, How to Not Have Rational Conversations with Irrational People. Basically, irrational people come in three sizes, small, medium, and large. The definition is loose, probably more associated with age than anything else. Small means toddlers. Most of us are pretty familiar with this. Toddlers, say for example, want to have ice cream instead of broccoli. They pitch a fit, scream and yell. Do we give them ice cream? No. Do we try to have a rational conversation with them about why they need broccoli instead of ice cream? Hopefully not. Most of us, especially if we've had more than one child, have learned to ignore the tantrum. Eventually, it'll go away on its own, or not. Either way, there's not a lot we can do about it. If we were to have a rational conversation, one-sided rational conversation with the toddler, it would be very unlikely that at any point would they say something like, thank you so much for explaining to me why I need to have broccoli instead of ice cream. I feel much better now. Point is, we don't do it. We let it go. Medium-sized tend to be adults who are either intoxicated, irrationally angry, or personality disordered. In any one of those three cases, you do not want to get into the situation where you, the rational person, are trying to have a conversation which from your side is rational with an irrational person, because exactly like the toddler, you are very unlikely to hear back from them, thank you very much for explaining it to me, I feel much better now. Doesn't happen. So what I want you to do next time you're having a conversation with somebody who is either intoxicated, irrationally angry, or personality disordered, is stop and deal with them exactly like you would a toddler. Generally, that means looking at them like they're speaking a foreign language, turning on your heel and walking away. Maybe looking over your shoulder to make sure they're not banging their head. Three, and this is the large size. And remember, large is sort of figurative. That's the teenager. In my mind, they're deemed large size because the effect they have on everybody around them is very, very large. But the concept is exactly the same. Teenager says, I need the car keys. I'm going out. You say, it's Tuesday night at 930. You have school tomorrow. You can't go out. Teenager launches into a really well thought out, incredibly articulate diatribe as to why they should be allowed to go out. You argue. You debate. You articulate your argument. They disagree. Things escalate. You go nowhere. For some reason, you fail to realize you're talking to somebody who is completely irrational. Things get ugly. In the back of your mind, you are expecting this person to say, Oh, I get it now. I have school tomorrow. I need to be rested. I need to study. My grades are important. Thank you so much for explaining it to me. I feel better now. I think I'll go to bed. Doesn't make a lot of sense. You simply need to decide what the rules are, draw the line, and end the conversation. That's it. Same thing, all three scenarios. Irrational people come in small, medium, and large, but your response needs to be the same. I'm Dr. Schwartz. This is Psych Talk. Remember, if you like this video, please like and subscribe.